5K in Dallas Force Worth. On the right, we have. Uh, sorry for one second. On the right, we have Winston Wood playing Merfolk Fish. And on the left, we believe it's definitely Benj Benjamin Costro, but we believe it's 43 land. Not 100% sure yet. We will see in a second. Right, and we join in with a turn to Civigil Adept from Winston, um, followed that was following uh, a turn one Treetop Village from Benjamin. Usually, the Treetop Village is the slowest of the uh, the starts for the forty three land deck, but when that's the only green source, you got to do what you got to do. All right, so this looks like the green source is going to be exploration. Is that a tabernacle? Wastelands, the Mutavolt. Okay. Alright, and that tabernacle is going to tie up one land. So, uh, 43 land, which is uh, prides itself on the mana denial strategy in most, in most matchups, but also relies on the opponent's mana base being mostly non basics. But this tabernacle will at least tie up one island. And um, there's also a, Rif a uh, Rashad and Port, which would tie up one more island. Which I can only assume is going to get cast. I mean, it's going to get played. It's also a second yeah. exploration that can Another be played. exploration, gamble. Probably should uh, not play a land. Oh, he doesn't have a red source. And here's a second exploration into the, looks like a Nantuku Monastery. No, that was a uh, Rashad and Port. Uh, oh, that is an Antigua Monastery in his hand. Yeah, this gam. Um, Benjamin has a gamble in his hand that isn't going to be very useful with after he plays all of his lands. Oh, well, we already. A, I mean, we already have Life Alone in oh, hand. Oh, yeah, Life Alone in hand. So, I mean, uh, gamble for Mana Bond would have been really powerful in this situation. Right. Yep, paid one life for the one swap heath. Ben goes down to seven. Hmm. Well, this is actually a pretty explosive start for forty three land, although not having um, the port. Did we use the port mana on? That was that was an upkeep porting. I, mean, I, have to I believe assume. it was a draw step porting because I heard him say stop and draw step. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. Yeah. Either way, it's, it does it. I mean, either way, it's just as effective. Yeah. So now we draw an intuition after Benjamin fetched up a red source to play the uncast the the gamble that which doesn't do any any good, but we can always, always life on yeah. the fetch land back. I guess Gamble Gamble just finds a land and it doesn't matter where it ends up. Well, Gamble's going to find <laughs> an assortment of three land. After to assume oh, one of them's uh, going to be... A intuition is... I'm sorry, Intuition. Gamble, okay. I guess Gamble finds a land also, but yeah. Intuition finds three land. Wait, they don't have a... He doesn't have a blue source yet. Well, now he does because yeah, he has a one source. Yeah, he returned the one source. Gamble could find Riftstone Portal if that's in um, in Benjamin's list. We need to intuition here for a a um, a cycle land. Fourteen. We've only played two lands, so we can play one more. So we intuition for well, if we intuition for a cycle land and it goes in our hand, it's yeah. kind of awkward. So the intuition is probably going to be end of turn. Since we can't really get as much value out of it as we'd like. Mm -hmm. We want to get we want to get three land, but one of them definitely needs to be a cycle land. Mm 
we got a little comment. We got comments from the chat where if you say, if you announce that you want to stop doing the draw, it's easier to get your opponent to miss a tabernacle. Yeah, trigger. that's true. You're like, stop at your draw, and they say, okay. See, yeah, you're like, see. all right, your guy dies. <laughs> see, ben- Benjamin's next level. I just learned something. And this is one of your favorite decks in Legacy, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Well, I mean, it's getting a little too trendy. I may not play it anymore. <laughs> I bet you're not going to be able to play anything with these events going all the time. You're like, everything's going to be trendy. <laughs> Psycho Land, Maze of Ith, Maze of Ith. All right, well, I guess you give them, you give them the Psycho Land. Winston's hand is pretty stacked. He has main deck stifles. I think he has two stifles in hand. Has a standstill, which is not very good in this <laughs> matchup. Standstill would makes uh, Benjamin happy. He's like, go ahead, play it. <laughs> Played by spells. <laughs> oh, those aren't stifles. Those are... Um, Cozy Tricksters? No, they're, okay. they're so- Sovereigns. Merfolk Sovereigns. Oh, okay. And he goes with the standstill. I guess uh, Winston Stand hasn't still. played this matchup before. Huh. Let's see how this. Let's see how this bodes for Winston. I guess he's just. He's like he's just gonna play alone. I mean, he. Uh, Benjamin does not have to cast a spell anymore. I know he has. Benjamin a can just draw tree. step, have a treetop village, which is bigger than, than the uh, adept, and just race. Oh, but he does. But he does crack the. Hold on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Well, I guess we or you could just loam. That's fine. Yep. I think racing three for two is a lot better. <laughs> but yeah, you have your maze of this that Winston can't really do much about. Well, sometimes standstill is just drop three for two mana. So mm-hmm. as we concentrate for two, they reprint a concentrate, ladies and gentlemen. Made it a lot cheaper. I want to concentrate for three. <laughs> or two. So a couple of explorations. One brings in a maze. Other brings in a tropical. And then a regular land drop too. Maze. So I think he's out of land drops now. That is true. And we're going to attack with the treetop village. Comes stumbling in for three. And it takes Winston down to a 17. Okay. Keep. Winston paying for that tabernacle without putting a die on top of his yeah, deck. Yeah, quite impressive. But I'm impressed. But he forgets to untap his silver gill object. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Like I knew so I forgot something here. See, the, the untap is easier to, is easier to go back and say, "Oops!" You can't say "Oops" with tab- tabernacle. <laughs> the "Oops" with tabernacle sends your guy to the graveyard. Adept. <laughs> <laughs> There's another silver gill adept showing him Reedry. Is it just me or does Merfolk just feel like one of the most fair legacy decks? <laughs> well, it's... It plays out like a fair deck, but it has a lot of um, really powerful... Situ- like a lot of powerful board positions it can, can get into. And it also has Aether Vow, which is a very unfair card. Yeah. Forty three lands loam engine is in full effect. Glacial chasm. Not really a factor here. Glacial yeah. chasm isn't really needed. Necessary, yeah. Yeah, we have we have enough we have more than enough maze of it. The 
Wasteland and Muta Vault. Uh, both colored mana is going to be used for a loam. Okay. Loam gets back. Just two lands. 